And if you've got a question, use the raise hand feature. We'll start with a statement from head coach Greg McDermott. You know, it's, it's a good win for us. Uh, you know, St. John's has always given us trouble. And even, even in New York a few weeks ago, uh, you know, I was a two or three point game with 12 or 13 minutes left. And, and uh, you know, we, we had a big run towards the end of that, had a big run at the start of the game. But the thing with the St. John's game, like, you know, we were up 16 in New York, six or seven minutes in, and they get it back to two, and then we stretch it out again. I mean, that's just how they play. They're relentless. Uh, they don't quit. Uh, they spread you out. Uh, and then they've got a, a terrific one-on-one -on -one player in Champagny, uh, maybe as good as one-on-one -on -one players there is in the conference that's really difficult to guard. And, um, you know, I thought we did a decent job on everybody else. Obviously, we didn't have an answer from him. him but I, I told the team, I thought that first 20, I guess it was 22 possessions of the game, we scored – 40 points and maybe was some of the most unselfish best offensive basketball that I've seen in a long time and that's that's encouraging to see especially when with Marcus out Sharif going into the starting lineup it's like we didn't miss a beat uh, Reef did a great job running the team uh, picking his spots to score and then obviously doing a terrific job in the defensive end like he always does all right we'll do questions uh, we'll start off with Matt Foster Yeah, I mean he's uh, I, I, he's going to be fine. He, it's uh, you know he's got a hamstring issue that he's been dealing with, and and uh, we just didn't really want to push it, uh, especially with a week off uh, coming after this game. Uh, so we thought the rest was probably the the right thing to do. Uh, but you know it's it's a it's this is athletics, and sometimes guys get hurt, and somebody's got to be ready to step up. Jet Canfield hadn't played hardly at all this year. Uh, he played 10 important minutes for us today. So uh, the next guy's got to be ready if somebody goes down, and, and certainly Sharif and, and Jet were today. Matt DeMarinas. Um, well, first on the offense rebound, uh, Coach Mack always harps on guards getting back, but you know, I just thought it was a great opportunity to get a good offense rebound. I saw Denzel uh, on the wing. You know, I came down a little funny, but that wasn't going to stop me from uh, keep playing. Uh, and that was a big shot to kind of close out the game. Uh, I'll be fine. My ankle will be fine. But uh, yeah, Coach Mack came up to me before, uh, earlier this morning and just told me that uh, he was going to sell Marcus and that he wanted to, uh, he was going to start me. And you know, uh, just. Always being ready, like Coach says, uh, he preaches uh, be ready. Uh, especially with COVID, you just never know what's going to happen, even if someone like test positive. So just being ready, staying focused. Uh, and when your name is called, just be ready to uh, show out and play. And um, I think I did a pretty good job of that today. John Niatawa. Um, uh, Marcus, of course, Marcus came up to me, uh, just told me to be me, be confident, uh, run the show, and uh, just get everybody involved. And then just every everyone from the starters, from Dame, Christian, Mitch, and Dins, they just came up to me, pretty much said the same thing, uh, just stay ready, be confident, uh, just play my game, and uh, just do what I do out there, and uh, just don't think too much. And, you know, I really needed that. Um, because I feel like sometimes I can get in my own head. And uh, even Coach Mack tells me, uh, just be me uh, and don't try to think too much. And uh, that's why I try to really think when I uh, stepped on the court today. Anna? I got a question for Coach Mack. Um, Coach Mack said that you guys were able to get the ball out of your hands more than you Yeah, and then, you know, Ryan had nine, so we were close to, s to seven. I, like I said, I just thought the ball movement was terrific. Uh, I mean, there may be times we have guys turning down shots that they shouldn't turn down shots, and um, I think that's a problem that most coaches across the country would love to have is that we're being too unselfish. So uh, I'll live with that. We'll watch it on film. But, uh, you know, guys, you know, you, what's as impressive – as the double figure scoring is the number of guys that have two assists or more. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys had at least two assists today. 
And, uh, you know, that's how our offense is designed. That's what uh, our culture is about. And, and obviously today our guys were really locked in and bought in in that regard. Matt Foster. Uh, this is for Matt and Reese. Um, what have you kind of seen from AOC to, you know, expect a, a performance like he had today, obviously his best performance so far in Chris Dirt? Yeah, you know, he's coming. Uh, you know, defensively it's just – it's a totally different system. Uh, than what he played at Duke, and you know the the responsibilities are different, the positioning's different, and the reality of it is we you know we he wasn't held accountable to that until about December 10th or 12th or whenever the heck we found out that he was going to be eligible. So uh, you know his his our focus with him was individual development and working on the scout team. Um, so it's it's been a crash course uh, trying to get him trying to get him ready. Uh, but you you saw today some of the athletic ability. Uh, ability to shoot the basketball and stretch the floor uh, that he's going to bring to the table, but uh, and I think Reef, uh, you know, Reef can Reef can build on this if he'd like. But I think what's been interesting with Alex is just like how much fun he's having playing. Like he's taking this as like it's a freebie. Like this is awesome. I get to play with this team in this system with guys that share the ball and move the basketball. So um, I think he's really playing with a lot of joy. And I think when you do that, sooner or later, good <coughs> things will happen. Go ahead, Reef. Um. Just to follow up on what Coach said, uh, you know, Ayo's when he first got here in August, uh, when school started, um, you know, he was uh, he like was in the show a little bit, but the more he just like kept like hanging, even talking with us off the court, that helps someone gain confidence on the court, and uh, I think that really showed today. And I talked to him even before the game, and I was just like, you know, uh, with Marcus being out, uh, Marcus obviously is a big part of our offense with scoring and. Uh, giving out assists, so uh, I just told A.O. to just be ready, you know, uh, be confident today because this is a great opportunity. And uh, he took advantage, obviously, with 16 points. Uh, you know, like Coach said, he's came a long way, and uh, he's going to build from this, I think. And uh, I think A.O.C. is just a really good player, and I've always thought of that of him. Matt B. Marinas. Uh, a couple of the free throw, or the, the, the things he got to the line was just within the flow of our offense. And obviously, guys were hitting threes, so there were some driving lanes. And, you know, Den's pretty powerful when he gets downhill, and it's hard to guard him without following him. Uh, the one, uh, the little jumper at 17 feet uh, coming out of the timeout was a, was a design play against their zone that the guys executed uh, incredibly well. Uh, so, you know, most of, most of what we do is, you know, our guys just being basketball players. Got time for a couple more. We'll go to John first. I know what that about Ryan Colfer and minutes this week. It, it's kind of been an uptick. And I wonder if that was more matched up or just he's playing really well. No, I mean, it's uh, he, he's getting better. And he's changing the game, especially on the defensive end of the floor. And uh, I think he's gaining confidence on offense. I think guys are gaining confidence in him. And it's, it's just uh, – you know, I really like the changeup between he and Christian because they bring they bring some ways similar qualities with their ability to protect the rim. Um, but you know, Christian's speed and quickness and ability to pass the basketball, and now you now Ryan, you know, you got that seven footer back there, and and uh, you know you have to account for him at wherever he's at. So, you know, I thought both of those guys gave us really really good minutes today. But you know, there's no question you're seeing Ryan grow up in front of our eyes. He's getting better every single day. Matt Foster. Uh, this one's for Sharif. Uh, Sharif, just personally, how much more confident are you in your game, you know, to go out and now start your first Big East game? Um, I feel very confident in my game. Um, coach, me and Coach have conversations a lot about uh, being confident and being me, like I said earlier. Um, coach really trusts me. Uh, all the coaching staff, they really put that confidence in me as well as players. So uh, it's just me being comfortable out there, uh, just being me. Uh, finding the right shots, the open shots, and uh, even creating for my teammates, you know. Uh, I think I do a really good uh, job job of that. And uh, I just want to – that's something I just want to do and uh, see my guys score. And, but also, uh, you know, just sharing the sugar and, uh, I don't know, having team success rather than individual success. Final two questions. We'll start with Matt, then we'll go to John – Matt DeMarinas, then we'll go to John. Capable of just 
Yeah, the, you know, the Marcus decision is based based off what's best for Marcus, uh, you know, not with no impact on our team. And anytime there's an, uh, a player that's fighting an injury, it's their individual well-being uh, that is, is 1A, 1B, and 1C. We don't really consider anything else. Uh, but, you know, Sh Sharif has worked really hard. If you, you know, you, all you got to do is look at him, you know, from what his, where his body is now to where it was when he was running around at Burke High School, it's, you know, a couple, it's a couple, there's, a, there's an extra person in there somewhere now. So, you know, he's gotten stronger and, you know, just a real credit. I remember having the meeting with him when he was a junior in high school and talking about, we'd love to have you, but here's what has to happen. You probably need to go to prep school after your senior year because you need to get stronger. Um, and then one, go to prep school, two, get stronger, and three, improve your shooting. And look where he's at today. Like he check, check, check. You know, he, you give him something to do and he's going to go do it. And, you know, we've had a lot of guys that have improved. Obviously, DJ's gotten better. Denz has gotten better. Mitch has improved defensively. Marcus has made strides. But as I've said before, Christian and Kristen and, and Sharif really stand out in my mind as guys who really have taken it to another level in terms of maybe their, their own belief in their abilities because of the amount of work that they put in, uh, but also, you know, how their teammates feel about where they're at and the amount of time that they've spent. So that's great to see. And, you know, you're, you, you hope that when somebody's number is called, they're ready. And, you know, Sharif certainly answered the bell today. He was terrific. Final question, John Neatel. Uh, you cut out a little bit. I think you were asking about the lineup without Sharif and, and Jet. Like, <laughs> how, how much time have we worked on it? You've seen it. You saw it today. That was it. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but, you know, we, you know, we've got plenty of point guards in practice with Marcus Healthy and Reef and, and, and uh, uh, Jet. Uh, Andrew Murfell plays there some. Dev Devin plays there some. So, you know, we, we've got plenty of point guards in practice just today. Uh, with the foul trouble and with the pressure, we just decided to go with some older guys. And the good news is, like, I have basketball players. Like, so maybe the, you wouldn't consider Alex and Mitch and Denzel or DJ point guards or Antoine. But they can all handle the ball. They can all initiate offense. They can all make a read in a ball screen. So, you know, I was, I was obviously most comfortable with one of the point guards out there. But I thought that group did a terrific job and moved the basketball, made good plays made smart plays and then you know defensively obviously we're a little bigger with that lineup on the floor uh, so there's a little bit of an advantage there but you know I'm, I'm more comfortable when when I have one of those guys that does it every day all right that'll do it for today thank you thanks